The housing market in California surprises again in August as existing home sales and median home prices registered increases on both a monthly and annual basis in August. Closed escrow sales of existing single family homes remained above the 400,000 benchmark from the 17th consecutive month. The biggest takeaways in the California Association of Realtors report for August were the sales figures were up 1.5% from July and up 1.3% year to year. Year to date sales are running about 2.7% ahead of last year's pace. The median home price was, yep, $565,330 up 2.9% from July and 7.2% year to year. And for the sixth month in a row, statewide active listings continue to decline, dropping 11.9% from a year ago. Mortgage rates declined further in August as the 30-year fixed mortgage interest rate averaged 3.88% in August, down from 3.97% in July, but was up from 3.44% year to year. The five-year adjustable rate mortgage interest rates ticked down in August to an average of about 3.15% from 3.22% in July, but was up from the 2.74% year over year. With consistent home price growth, even the most affordable markets are facing rising prices. California is no longer home to a county with a median home price below 200,000, everything's over, and only 10 out of 58 counties have a median price lower or equal to the national median price of 258300 Locally, Sacramento County actually dropped in median home price from July by 1.4%, but was still up by about 7.5% year to year. Eldorado County increased almost a percentage, but it's up 14.1% from August of 16. Placer County was up 2% from July and 7.2% year to year. Who would have thought? I mean, these are pretty dramatic price increases. And finally, here's the big news. Sacramento is down to an average of 11 days on the market. Yep, 11 days, which is actually up from nine days in July. Inventory is holding at around 2.4 months. Placer County is almost as fast with 14 days on the market with inventory levels of 2.5 months, which is down about 14%. El Dorado County is at 38 days on the market, but inventory took a huge decrease to 3.5 months, down 24.4% just from July. August was a fast market with home values holding, but inventory levels declining in most areas, especially in the entry level price range. Now for minding your own business. Infographics are insanely powerful marketing tools because they're not only easy to understand, but they're also eye candy to the audience. Other than video, they're the most likely to be shared on social media and probably one of the most. I mean, it's just amazing seeing good infographics. They can be a great way to drive referral traffic. Now, if you hire a graphic designer to make your infographic, it can be expensive, but you can make your own cheaply if you just give it a little bit of time and effort. Office Publisher can be useful in making your own infographics, but if you need help with a template, try canva.com. We love Canva, C-A-N-V-A.com. It's free and they have a few good templates to help you get started. If you need other examples, send me an email and we'll be happy to get information out to you and to help you out. Well, that's this week's Real Estate Insider Weekly. Thank you for joining me again. Have a great day. Let me know if I can help you in any way.